I know it's it's not even Halloween yet, no. but if you've been shopping lately, you probably notice holiday Christmas items already lining the shelves. That's right. You know, I actually know people who are done with their Christmas shopping. <laughs> I'm not one of them. I'll but start just so you know, sometime in December. <laughs> a new study by Bakery says 28% of people they're already stressed out, right, about the cost of the holiday shopping, where to go, where to get things, and they again, Kevin, haven't faced the scare of Halloween. But we have NBC Connecticut response consumer reporter Caitlin Birchall here to. Turn your financial fears into more cheer, it's a right? holiday magic and cheer. Yes. It's October 25th. Yeah. Two months is Christmas. It's crazy. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Like, how <laughs> does that happen? And if you are one of those people that are stressed out about the cost of holiday shopping, everything's expensive right now. But take a brief, deep breath because I'm really proud of you. You are smart enough to be thinking ahead. Financial experts at Bankrate say make a budget and stick to it, especially as the average American is sitting on $6,300 in credit card debt right now. So don't add to it. Look for coupons and deals and strategize your spending. Get an early jump on shopping to spread out your cash flow. Take this opportunity to set a budget, make a gift list. You probably still have five paychecks between now and the end of the year. So saving money from each of them can really pay off. The National Retail Federation says the average holiday shopper spends about 900 bucks, but you also don't have to spend that much. Bankrate says you can change your spending habits during the holidays, but it doesn't have to be joyless. Their experts say you can use your unused gift cards. A Bankrate study says on average, people have almost 250 bucks sitting unused on them. Are you crafty or a good cook? Make something. What about making gifting a memorable competition? Who can gift the coolest thing from a thrift shop? And then you're helping the environment too, right? So I love that. But on my side of the family and my husband's side of the family, we've actually switched to grab style gifting. So each adult is buying for just one other adult in the family. We've been doing this for a couple of years now. We pick names and we cap the cost of spending. And it's really fun because it makes you really focus on a more special present. And I am already thinking of, of the best gift to buy the two people I pick for instead of just like haphazardly spending hundreds of dollars on potentially thoughtless presents for all the Birchies and all the McGoldrick. So Amber and Kevin, my in-laws are definitely watching. I think my parents are watching too. And I was like, I am giving no hints if I have one of them. But it's, it's so fun and it's so yeah. financially feasible and smart. And I don't know. It's nice. Yeah, you could save so much too because every year you're buying for this person and this person and this person. And sometimes you don't even know that individual you bought for probably has the same gift they got from somebody else. Exactly. It's so this is one thing. And Elfster, use Elfster to, they, it does the names for you online. And That's then you're not right. buying for your husband. Like you can make rules. Check it out. I'm going to put it on our website. Sounds like a game. And I after love the that. second eggnog, I mean, who's keeping it. score anyway? <laughs> yes. Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs>